in terms of money, we have no money. Hey y'all, it's Megan. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome aboard. So today we are going to talk about something that I get asked kind of a lot. People always say, would you ever work at Disney again? Like what's the best and worst thing is that about working there? So first of all, yes, I would go back tomorrow. Uh, Disney, if you need me, let me know. Uh, but also, what are some of the best and worst things about working at Disney? The first thing is the guests. Some of the best interactions that you will ever have in your entire life I had when I was working at Disney World. I got to meet so many cool people, got to meet people from all over the world, got to interact with people who this was their first time at Disney and got to talk to them about that, got to talk to people who had been to Disney a gazillion and a half times and how that was going, people who had been to Disneyland but not Disney World. So many good interactions. I've talked about some of my favorites. I will link some of those videos down below for you. Or where's the description now? But the comments are over there. Is the description down here too? Where's, I don't know. I'll put in the description box, I will put some links to some of my other videos if you are interested in seeing some of the like really uplifting, fun guest stories that I've had. Also, guests can be one of the worst things. And now you see where I'm going with this. And I will also link some of those videos down below because you know, sometimes you have a sweet young girl who comes on and, and she wants to sign your autograph book right next to Cinderella. And you have, you know, people who come on and they want to take pictures of you with their kid because you let them drive the boat and it's so sweet. People who compliment you and tell you how, how well you did on the Jungle Cruise. Then you have people who want to slap you and curse at you and call you names <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. So guests can be one of the very, very best things about working at Disney World. And they can also sometimes be one of the worst. The next thing that is best and worst about working at Disney is merch and discounts on it. You're probably sitting there going, Megan, how could, how could Disney merch ever be a bad thing? How could discounts be a bad thing? I'm gonna tell you. So it's pretty obvious how Disney merchandise is a good thing. It's awesome. It's cool. There's, I mean, we got it everywhere. We got, we got merch everywhere of it. I'm a fan, right? I think everyone's if you're here, you're probably a fan of Disney merch. So yes, Disney merch is a good thing. However, comma, when you're working at Disney World and you are 19, what's the, the little quote? Is it Gru who says it? I think it's a Steve Carell character. It may not be Gru. I don't know. But it, in terms of money, we have no money. That was kind of where I was at. And when you have no money, but you want to buy the things, it becomes a problem because you've start doing the rationalization of like, well, I'm not always gonna work at Disney. What if I don't take advantage of this thing? So then you buy the thing. With the exception, I have so much regret about this one particular thing. If you have been a cast member or you know someone who's a cast member, at Disney World we had um, property control and cast connections which sold old park merchandise um, that had maybe a flaw in it or something like that. I got this bad boy at property control um, because the plastic, it's a little dusty, um, the plastic that it was wrapped in was torn off the corner. The, the book itself had absolutely nothing wrong with it, but because the plastic was torn, they couldn't sell it in the parks anymore. So it went to property control and cast members could purchase it at like a really steep discount. So that's the kind of stuff you can get at property control. So when I worked there, I was there in 2012 and there was a shadow box that released in 2010 um, at Disneyland. Dave Avanzino was the artist and he made a Jungle Cruise shadow box. They had them at property control when I worked there and I saw it with my own eyes and I didn't buy it. Because at the time, like I said, I was 19, I had no money. <laughs> I was making $7.67 an hour um, and it was $100. And now, as an adult who cherishes my Jungle Cruise time, I wish above everything that I had just sucked it up and found a way to make it happen. But you know, you can't always, you can't always make it happen. You just can't. And that's, that's a, a lesson that needs to be learned in life. And I, you know, I happened to learn it at Disney, but those shadow boxes now you can't find them anywhere except for like eBay or whatever. And people have marked them up to, you know, six, $800. It's ridiculous. Uh, if anyone has one that they just want to get rid of and donate to the Skipper Megan Foundation, <laughs> let me know. But yeah, so those shadow boxes, I would have loved to have gotten one. Just didn't have the money. 
and even though it was at a, at a steep discount and it was basically, you could only get it there at that point, couldn't make it happen. So that was one of the worst things about having access to such good Disney merch and a discount. You wanted it all and you just couldn't have it all. So we talked about the guests. What about your coworkers, fellow cast members? One of the very absolute best things, I'm gonna say probably the best thing about working at Disney was the friends that I made there. Some of my skipper friends and my roommates and stuff, best friends that I have ever had, friends that I will have for the rest of my life, um, people who came to my wedding, people who I have gone to visit in other countries, people who have come to visit me, very, very good friends. Um, goes in tight. So I've, I've told multiple stories about um, my coworker friends, some of them funny, uh, some of them not great though. That's the other downside. Like you don't get to pick your coworkers and that's universal. That's wherever you work pretty much, unless you like work for your daddy, but you don't get to pick your coworkers and some of them are not awesome. And I did have a couple of coworker experiences that were not super great. So once again, I will link those videos down below. I'm not gonna put it all in here. So if you just, if you're interested in those particular stories, you can go check those out. But I have some stories from my coworkers that are awesome and funny and, you know, I just love these people to death. And then there's some coworkers that it's like, I don't love you. That, that, well, that's what we'll say. I love and I don't love. One of the obvious good things about working at Disney World is the weather. There's a reason people are going there in droves and it's because the weather's nice. People are just sick and tired of snow and cold and seasonal affective disorder and just gross outsideness. So they want to be in Florida. It's nice. There's, you know, there's something about being somewhere working outdoors in February and March in shorts and a t-shirt and just being comfortable. Being like, yeah, you know what? I see you back home. I see you shoveling that snow. I'm wearing shorts. And there's something really, really nice about that. However, comma, for most people, by the time July rolls around, you're not feeling quite so smug. You feel a little, little, little moist. Uh, but not so smug. It's real hot. It is really hot in Florida. And if you are not prepared for it, if you are coming from another country, you know, specifically somewhere farther north, and you're not prepared for this kind of hot, it can really get you. I was born in Florida. I have lived in the South my entire life. Humidity is like in my veins. People tell me all the time that I'm either a reptile or a tropical plant because most living things do not enjoy being this hot and wet all the time, but I like hot, humid weather. So I was okay. Yeah, got sweaty, wear the undershirt, you're fine. But some people really, it affects them a lot, especially when you are working in attractions. A lot of them are outside. And even if you're not at attractions, there's a lot of outdoor positions. Lots of food and beverage carts are outside. Lots of the like host positions for stores, for restaurants, those are outside too. So if it is hot, you are in it. If it is raining, you are in it. And you just kind of got to be used to that. So yes, the weather is super nice for basically the whole year, but there's a period of the summertime where it is just really hot and really rainy. And that can be kind of a negative if you're not prepared for it, or if you are working primarily outside, like at the Jungle Cruise, we were outside nonstop. Like there was no getting out of the weather. So just something to keep in mind can be the best can also be the worst. My last thing that is both the best and the worst is visitors. And if you have ever worked somewhere cool, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. When you work somewhere that is a tourist attraction or a theme park or a place that people like to go and visit, people want to come and visit. Oh, I get to see you and I get to have like a cool vacation. I mean, I, I guess people will come and visit you wherever you are. If I worked like in the middle of South Dakota, no offense to South Dakota. I'm sure that my family would come visit me there too, but it's like, it's a little bit, it's, it's a little bit more enthusiastic to come and visit you when you work at somewhere like Disney World. And you'll see this more with people who are full-time cast members um, than college program students. For me, I didn't have like a bunch of family. I just had my parents and my sister came to visit me. And then um, people who were like already coming to the parks, old teachers and, and friends from like high school and stuff they were already coming to the parks and they just came to see my boat. But if you are a seasonal cast member or a full-time cast member and you have gate passes where you can get people in for free, 
people that you didn't even remember talking to once in your life will suddenly come out of the woodwork and want to come visit you really bad. So badly, they will want to come see you all of a sudden. Just, hey, I haven't seen you in forever. I, I was just, I was thinking that maybe we would come visit. Are you in Florida now? Are you, are you really, are you working at Disney World? I didn't even remember that. What a coincidence. And I had friends who, you know, that happened to them. Most of the time people are, are cool with seeing old family and old friends and, and all of that kind of stuff. But if they're just taking advantage of you for your free park entrances or your discount on rooms, on merch, and on food, that's kind of annoying. So it's great to see your family, but it can also be one of the negative. So oh, that is it. Those are the best and worst things about working at Walt Disney World, in my experience. If you have worked somewhere cool, not necessarily just at Disney, but if you've worked somewhere cool, what are some of the things that are maybe not so awesome? I hate saying like the worst, but like less than awesome about where you worked. Let me know those in the comments, wherever those live now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.